Here in this very short chapter we'll look at how complex numbers are dealt with in MATLAB or Octave. From mathematics we know that the complex unit is the square root of minus 1 and we'll check out whether MATLAB uh, treats complex numbers as we usually do in mathematics. The complex unit is predefined in MATLAB. Just pressing I gives the answer 0 plus 1 I. The same for J. And that's basically the definition. You have got the real part and the imaginary part. You can define a number, for instance 3 plus 4 i as a complex number and then this z is complex. It's worthwhile checking out the workspace here on the right. It's actually telling us that z is, has got this content and is complex. Sometimes that is a good idea to actually check what the numbers or the variables are. So, the, um, as in mathematics, we can um, get, extract the real part of z by typing real bracket z or the um, imaginary part by typing imaginary part of z. Okay, and from mathematics we know that the um, z1, the complex conjugate of z, just swaps the plus for the minus in the imaginary part. From mathematics we know that a best, a good way to represent complex numbers are in um, on the sheet, on a plane where the real and imaginary part um, are on the x and y uh, axis. So it's like a vector. Adding two uh, vectors to complex numbers you make use of the vector notation. Have a look at the mathematics if you're not quite familiar with that um, anymore. Um, the other re representation um, of complex number is the polar form where you define the vector by its length and that is the abs absolute uh, value and the angle. And that is what uh, MATLAB can do. For instance, you can calculate the length of uh, uh, Z1, in this case being 5, or the angle of this Z. There's just an angle equals. Okay, and try it out. You can easily uh, rewrite from the r and the angle to get um, the complex number in the other representation. Let's check out whether that makes sense by looking at an example. The Euler equations relate the sine and cosine um, values of a value x to exponential functions in this way. And we just check out for a value let's say x of 3. Uh, so the equation would be the uh, upper one uh, bracket exponential is written as x exp in brackets 3i minus exponential of minus 3i divided by 2 I. And that gives the value of a being 0.1411. And now we just press in whether the sine of 3 is 
the same. It is so MATLAB is able to um, calculate these with these complex uh, numbers. That's by and large all you need to know about working with complex numbers. There are a few pitfalls when working with complex vectors or arrays, but you will figure that out yourself. See you soon.